Belgian Minister of Defense, Ludovine de Donder, announced that, on Friday, September 15, 2023, the Restricted Council of Ministers made a series of decisions that reaffirm our steadfast support for Ukraine and our role as a partner country within the international coalition to support Ukraine. As part of our participation in the international F-16 coalition, the Restricted Council of Ministers confirmed our involvement in training Ukrainian F-16 pilots. Thus, I can confirm that six instructors and four mission planners will be trained in our country to subsequently provide training for Ukrainian pilots and other personnel. Furthermore, Defense will deploy a team of three military personnel to a training center for Ukrainian F-16 pilots in Denmark in the coming weeks. In 2024, the Belgian Defense will deploy two F-16 aircraft, two-seater training aircraft, in Denmark for advanced training, along with a detachment of around 50 military personnel, primarily technical staff, to facilitate the deployment of the F-16s. In addition to this significant contribution to the training and operational readiness of fighter aircraft, B. Minister de Donder adds, our government formally expresses its support for assisting in the establishment of this new capability, essential for the modernization of the Ukrainian armed forces. In this context, Belgium will support the service proposal put forward by our industry, which has demonstrated its expertise over several decades. I will continue to support and facilitate these contacts. These new decisions complement the support we have already provided and continue to provide to Ukraine. As I mentioned, this support is always within a broader international framework, in complementarity and coordination with our partners. In this way, as a member of the international community, we strengthen Ukraine's resilience and military capacity. I would also like to remind you that I recently received a letter of thanks from the former Ukrainian Minister of Defense, Oleksiy Reznikov, in which he expressed his gratitude to Belgium and our defense for our ongoing support for Ukraine, particularly for our involvement in the F-16 coalition. This demonstrates the value of our commitment and the positive impact of our actions. In addition to our participation in the international F-16 coalition, Defense also provides support in many other areas. We will continue to consider each request for support from Ukraine based on our own available stocks and the availability of the Belgian defense and security industry. We always do this in consultation with our partner countries who support Ukraine within the contact group on Ukraine defense, where we regularly meet to coordinate our support. Complementarity is the key here, a coordinated approach rather than an isolated one. Belgian and international solidarity with Ukraine remains intact, and we will continue to support Ukraine for as long as necessary. Another important aspect of our support to Ukraine is the training of Ukrainian soldiers. Today, Defense has trained over 1,000 Ukrainian soldiers in a wide range of areas. This training includes combat training and the use of weapons and ammunition provided by Defense, as well as training in demoning, first aid, working with mobile laboratories, and underwater drones provided by defense, and more. Some of this training takes place in our partner countries, while another part of the training is conducted in Belgium itself. For example, training is organized for demoning and learning to work on and operate Belgian and Dutch Navy mine hunters. Additionally, Frontline Ukrainian soldiers who were seriously injured were also treated at the Nederoverheembeek Military Hospital in recent months. Last week, they presented a Ukrainian flag signed by frontline soldiers and warmly thanked our medical and other personnel at the military hospital for their excellent care and support. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize that Belgium and its defense ministry remain committed to supporting Ukraine, its people, and its armed forces. We will continue to explore all options for additional support based on our capabilities and in coordination with the Belgian industry, in complementarity with our partners and allies.